going into last year, we didn't know what was going to happen. Of course, we needed help from from the government to to uh, make it past COVID. We're not. We don't have assets, and we we uh, we and we also usually don't have government funding. So there was a real question mark going into last year. But what happened was incredible. We had 1.56 million people arrive here. And that was with some bad weather days, and they spent about double the amount they normally spend. We ended up with about a $15 million surplus coming out. Uh, huge economic impact to the province and the city, uh, and we're in good shape right now. There are a couple that, that uh, tour in North America. There's one that's about eight foot taller than this one. This one's 150 feet. Air-conditioned cabins, get in, cool off, see the city, the, the, the lake, and all that's happening here. It's quite, quite good. I'm partial to Ukraine. I lived and worked there, and in fact, I was in Poltava, Odessa, and Kyiv just before the invasion. So we did something last year. We also are doing something again this year. We've got two exhibitions. One down at the waterfront by the Rose Garden is uh, these are doors that actually came from buildings that were destroyed uh, from Russian bombing, and uh, so that tells a story both of destruction but also of perseverance. Then we've got uh, this white webbing that we put in the Entercare Center and we're asking people when they come to the CNE to tie pieces of white cloth to the webbing. It's going to eventually become camouflage for the winter and we're going to send it to the armed forces. That sort of ties in with our Warriors Day Parade. It's the 101st Warriors Day Parade this Saturday that honors people who have fought for freedom and democracy. So that's the serious side. The Pink Floyd exhibition is an epic journey through the history of one of the most famous and influential musical groups of the 20th century. I was done in partnership with the band, so it features original artwork and hundreds of artifacts. For those of you that are under 45 and never had a chance to see the band, it's an incredible opportunity to learn and experience a, a musical group that you'll never otherwise have an opportunity to.